What is up guys, Dr. Typo here, playing some Warframe. It's really been my go-to game. The closer Let we get to Destiny, the, the more future. and more I am excited. Just about this whole genre in general. Shoot em and loot em. I, I absolutely love it. Borderlands, really not as big of a fan of Borderlands as I am of Warframe and definitely Destiny. Simply because there isn't really a whole lot of, I guess, end game to it. Maybe it's just the fact that the PvP is very limited. You know, it just really, I guess they just really killed it for me. Warframe, Destiny, and games like it, you know, that do have a multiplayer aspect other than, you know, just four player co op, that's really what sets the bar for me when it comes to the shooter and looter genre. And even, you know, pretty much just the looter genre in general. When it comes down to it, for me, anyways, in order for me to actually be able to stick to an MMO, the PvP has to be decent. And it definitely is decent in Destiny. The little bit of the beta that we got to play, I mean, it was, you know, for PS4 people anyways, I guess it wasn't a little bit. It was quite a long time that we got to play the beta, it felt like. And I definitely played a lot of PvP and enjoyed it immensely, to the point where I can say that I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of it in the full version of the game. Now, unfortunately, I haven't had much of a chance to do a whole lot of PvP in Warframe. However, that is because the PvE element of it is just so big that, you know, I just I guess I just haven't had time to get to the PvP part of it yet. So that's really just what it takes for me to stick to any sort of MMO. It doesn't matter what kind of MMO it is, whether it's an RPG, some sort of a shooter, you know, like Warframe here, third person, or Destiny, which is first person, and even, you know, The Division, which will be coming out in 2015. That's going to have to have some sort of, you know, critical end game element to keep me interested in it. Otherwise, you know, it's pretty much just a $60 single player game with multiple people. If you understand what I'm trying to say here, if you're, you know, if you're just playing the game for the plot, then it might as well just be a single player game. But if you're getting through the plot, that way you can get to the end game, the multiplayer and the raid bosses and stuff like that, then that's where the game really expands, you know, and really, really gets good. And hopefully Bungie has a whole bunch of extra content lined up. That way the end game content doesn't get stale within the first, you know, month of the game's release. Because I can imagine that as soon as the game does release, people are just going to tear it apart. And without a doubt, I'm going to attempt to be one of those people. You know, I'd really like to hit level cap in the first day. That's definitely what I'm aiming for, and that's exactly what I'm talking about. People are going to play this game like it's, you know, a religion, essentially, and they're going to tear it apart. And in order for it to be fresh... Bungie's gonna have to keep it fresh and continuously give us some content. And I'm not just talking about daily quests, go here, kill this guy, play some multiplayer, kill these guys, and stuff like that. I'm talking about actual new content, new zones, new weapons, perhaps new classes. That would even be, you know, wonderful to see. But I'm definitely getting ahead of myself. The game hasn't even come out yet. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Take two and call me in the morning.